All right. So in today's quick tip, we're going to be learning how to correct a common error in Pro Tools that you may or may not have experienced already. And chances are, if you're here, you're most likely experiencing it right now. So I'm going to get right to the point, and that's correcting a an error code when you're trying to import a video and it's telling you that the codec is not compatible or supported. So I know how frustrating that can be. I've experienced this uh, error uh, a couple of times already, and that's simply because the files that are delivered to you by your clients or by yourself are not always in the same file type or uh, encoded using the same codec. So to solve that issue, we're actually going to run our videos through a video converter software that's available for free download on Mac. And if you're using Windows or would rather use a different video conversion software, uh, I leave that up to you. But in this case, I'm going to be recommending Handbrake. OK, so I'm going to leave a link to that in the description box. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that right now. So let's jump right into the screen. All right, so I've already got it opened up right over here. So we're going to open our video file, which is, in my case, it's a little sound redesign that I'm working on um, for a video game called The Callisto Protocol. But this file is already correct. Okay, So the way it is is fine. There was no errors importing it. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. And the way you can verify that actually is if you right click the file and you click Get Info, you can actually see right over here that it has been encoded using the H.264 codec. That's exactly what we're looking for. So if it's not there, that's probably why your, your file cannot be imported. And that being said, we're going to keep it in MP4 format. OK, so that's fine. Pro Tools can read MP4 files, no problem. And over here, we got the Video tab. You want to click on that. And you're going to want to make sure underneath Video Encoder that you have H.264 selected. OK, so that's the one that works. I haven't had any issues with this one as of yet. And the last thing you want to check is that the frame rate you have over here matches the frame rate of the original project file. So by default, it's set to 30. In this case, it is actually 30. But if you're doing like a TV show or a film or anything along those lines, you're going to want to most likely set it to 23.976. So just, you know, just double check that. And once you're ready, you can just go over here and browse for you know, the location where you want this video to export. Not super important, but you know, it's good to know where your things end up. And then you're going to want to click Start right up here. I'm not going to do that since this file has already been corrected or was already correct to begin with. So if you need to do that, give it a moment. Depending on the length of your project, it might take a few minutes. And so just be patient with it. So once you're done that, you're just going to want to like right click the, the new video file that you created and make sure that, in fact, it does include the H.264 codec. So if that's been done, uh, chances are that it is ready to go. So we can go ahead and open up Pro Tools. We go in File, Import, Video. We click the file right over here. And it should be importing without any problems. It might ask you where to store the audio files, right? Because if you have an audio file embedded to the uh, video file, it wants to know where to store that. So audio files is a perfect location for that. And that's that's pretty much it. So, so I hope that this uh, quick tip has you know been able to help you correct your codec error. If you're still having the same error after following these steps, uh, leave me a comment, and I'll be more than happy to check that out for you. So in the meantime, if you liked what you saw today and you know this solved your problem, make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more quick tips and advanced tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.